Hello seekers, welcome to Panis Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Moon will make its move in the sign of Sagittarius on 4th of September, late in the night, and it will continue its movement in this zodiac sign till 6th midnight. That means almost till the early hours of 7th of September. This is as per IST, Indian Standard Time. Now, when Moon is in Sagittarius, which is Dhanu Rashi, the, the zodiac sign of, of strength, the zodiac sign of power, the zodiac sign of ambition, but it is also more dominantly the zodiac sign of Dharma. It is the natural ninth house. And when Moon goes in Sagittarius, Moon is actually sixth from its own zodiac sign of Cancer. Therefore, when Moon is in Sagittarius, it is going to fulfill the Dharma and the Prarabdha Karma, the destiny of the zodiac sign of Cancer. So you need to watch out for the zodiac sign of Cancer in your birth chart because that area will see some responsibility coming your way during this Moon transit. Not only that, you might also see that there can be small expenses towards your family, uh, your house renovation or because of some auspicious activity in your home. But you also have to be careful about any argument, any debate within family members. This is absolutely not the right time to start a fight about inheritance, sharing, among, sharing property among family, fight between brothers, fight between relatives. So be very careful on that part. When Moon will cross from Scorpio to Sagittarius, Moon is actually crossing the Gandanta of Jesht and Mula Nakshatra. So, the 4th and the 5th, 4th night and the 5th as a day, Moon will be in Mula Nakshatra. So, you need to be very careful not to, you know, take big decisions during that time. Rather, that is the day of going back to the fundamentals. And only if your fundamentals are strong, you can take a call. You can take decisions, major decisions in your life. Now, if you see, Moon is in Sagittarian zodiac sign, which is ruled by Jupiter, which is in Pisces, retrograding in Uttara, Bhadrapada, Nakshatra. Which means this is the time that you will have to deep dive within your own emotions and you need to figure out what makes you happy. And once you know what makes you happy, try to pursue that path. This for some people might also make their relatives, their loved ones angry on them. So do not try to wage a war. Because Mars will be sixth from this moon, and now remember this, Mars being in Taurus zodiac sign will have eighth aspect on this moon. You will face stiff competition and definitely you will overcome that because Venus is in ninth from the moon in the sign of Leo. But you have to be humble. You have to present your argument in a very different way. You have to be more creative in your presentation and you, when you are putting forward your point, be it a debate, be it a competitive exam, be it if you want to convince your loved ones or if it's a matter of marriage, you will have to be considering the other person's point of view. You cannot just impose your point of view. And this is where you, you might have to compromise a bit on your happiness and try to find a middle path and that is the usual theme of this moon transit in Sagittarius. Then moon will slowly move into Purva Shada Nakshatra and then into Uttara Shada Nakshatra and it will come very close to Saturn which is in the sign of Capricorn. Now you have to understand that the trend of the moon is towards Saturn. So definitely you might get to know some harsh truth, some harsh reality about your family members, about your close circle. This might actually make you worried about your friend, about a family member, and there can be a connection that might be broken. So don't worry, don't feel isolated. But this is the time when you understand who is your trusted inner circle and who is actually your broader circle. So basically people who are close to your heart and the contact numbers in your phone directory. Those are two different things. This moon will tell you the difference. So this is definitely not the time when you will blindly trust people that you might rely on their decision, their opinion so much that you forget and about yourself, your own self and 
you are bringing a change in your life without assessing what the other person has said so be careful about the information that you get also you will see that moon which is in the first house considering sagittarius as the first house will find mercury 10th from itself now 10th mercury will give this moon the logical thinking and you will be able to segregate the good and the bad and then you, it's up to you what do you choose you choose light or you choose darkness also you will see that you might feel this financial crunch and you might have to liquidate your resources so it's a very good time for people who want to sell their property who want to liquidate their assets and maybe reinvest somewhere else so that you get more profits this is a good time for people who are involved in engineering sector manufacturing sector who are involved in energy sector it and information sector but overall i might see that if sagittarius is on your ascendant or if it is in your in your 11th house or second house that means if you are a scorpio moon sign or you are an aquarius moon sign or you are a virgo moon sign because in these cases sagittarius will be in either second 11th or 4th which is basically the zodiac sign of wealth income and assets you might feel tensed about the financial situation you are in in such case pray to lord narayan chant om namo bhagavate vasudevaya and vishnu sahastra na sahastra naam like two or three times a day take an oath because sagittarius is called dharmic oath dharmic sankalp take this take this oath on yourself about a certain task that you are going to perform and with that determination try to move ahead because this is like a test for many people and if you if you are really enthusiastic if you really are willing to walk that path only then you will be allowed to go because aspirations can be anything even i can aspire to be like to 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 go to the moon but am i worthy am i eligible is it even right for me that usually we humans don't think of that is why planets are there as a grand filter as a grand check so we should not disappoint with our with whatever results we get but in general this is a very good time this is also a good time uh, for you know winning court cases but waging a war is not recommended if you're already in a problem you might see some good progress but waging a war with mars in 6th house you might feel that you have a lot of strength but this will only deplete your resource so always look your limits and your boundary before taking a call in the next 3 days because if you take a call today 3 days later when moon will meet saturn you might realize your mistake and maybe it can be too late for you some of you so be careful on that part chanting chandra gayatri mantra is also one of the way by which you can enjoy the favorable energies of the moon remember when moon is in sagittarius it is your mind and emotion being put to dharma the path of god the righteous path so prayer bhakti yoga are are best ways to harness the positivity of the mind stay happy stay positive that's the message of this moon transit subscribe to my channel I thank you for watching this video please share the video among family and friends and for consultations please drop me an email follow me on instagram and telegram for reels and interesting stuff and one last thing if you are depressed if you are feeling sad if you are feeling that your emotions are haywire and you don't know what to do it's like block and you can't consult an astrologer at this moment then for a couple of days or say for 5 days every day listen to madhurashtakam and just imagine the the image of god as it is said in the chant in the song of god because when you create that will give you a positive vibrations in your mind it's the human brain the way you make it work it will create that imagery and accordingly your brain will react so it is a method by which you make your brain react to the divine and the imagery that you create is beautiful this makes you more happy from within but you might have to know what madhurashtakam says so you will have to go and read the translation
do this do give your feedback in the comment box below with this i end this video we'll meet in the next video till then namaste